The travel nightmare just keeps getting worse for thousands of people caught up in the meltdown by Southwest Airlines. Now they're trying to scramble to find their stuff because for many people, while they never made it to their destination on a plane, their bags did. Thank you for joining us at 11. I'm Royce Jones at Pittsburgh International Airport. Hundreds of bags are sitting and waiting for their owners who might not even know that their stuff is here in the city. KDK's Jen Barrasso is now back at the airport and spoke to some people who are going the literal distance to track down their bags. Hello, Jen. Hey, Royce. Well, I met a woman from Chicago who didn't want to wait any longer. She got in a car and she drove here to pick up her luggage. Take a look at the big problems behind me. All these bags left behind and walk with me because these bags wrap around all the way over here at the baggage claim. I talked to a college student who told me that his bag is still stuck in Denver with 9,000 other bags. At Pittsburgh International Airport, lots of luggage left behind here amid Southwest Airlines cancellations. Travelers like Lisa Caulfield of Chicago, annoyed and tired. Very frustrating. Caulfield and her husband never got to spend Christmas with family in Munhall. After three canceled flights in Chicago, their bags finally made it to Pittsburgh. Instead of waiting any longer, they drove here to pick up their luggage. We came to the airport yesterday and asked if where it was located, and they said it was still in Chicago, and we, we were told it was here, and, and so they said they'll give us a call, and we got the call today, and, and here we are. But Nate Rowe from Fox Chapel wasn't as fortunate. It's a mess. Rowe went on a ski trip to Colorado in early December. His Southwest flight canceled before Christmas. He flew on another airline but he learned his bags are still stuck in Denver. They told me that my bags are still in Denver and they're going to try their best to get them back. They think the airlines are going to catch up to this backlog and start sending flights. But they told me there are 9,000 bags in Denver. Employees here tagging bags. They were not allowed to talk to the media. We saw this $200 voucher being handed out as compensation. It was extremely frustrating. Kelly Gormley lives in Neville Island. She recently flew from Texas to Mississippi, then Baltimore, and drove home in a rental car from Virginia. After a lot of headaches, she finally has her bags. The Southwest people here were very nice and sympathetic, and they just had us fill out a, a claim form, and they said they'll notify Baltimore, and, and I, I described what was in my bags. And, and then I got a call yesterday, and they said, they said your bags are here. Back here at Pittsburgh International Airport, workers are busy still trying to reunite these bags with travelers. A spokesperson for Southwest tells me she doesn't have a specific number about how much luggage is still left behind in airports across the country. We have links on our website, kdk.com, for more information. Also, cancellations tomorrow. Right now, there are 238 scheduled flights here in Pittsburgh International. 34 are canceled, all Southwest Airlines. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.